There are two types of transport protein involved in this facilitated diffusion. First one is the channel protein, and then secondly is a carrier protein. So lipid insoluble molecules like ions, large molecules like amino acid and glucose, they pass through the phospholipid bilayers by facilitated diffusion. Because their sites are too big, therefore they are unable to pass through by simple diffusion. Okay, so the picture here says facilitated diffusion is passive transport. So it does not require energy. No energy, remember. The process continues until a dynamic equilibrium. We see all this, this word dynamic equilibrium in all the osmosis, simple diffusion. The end product, it will stop when there is dynamic equilibrium. It's when a concentration of molecule on both sides membrane are the same. All right, let's see. On the left, we have channel protein. On the right, we have carrier protein. Channel protein, it will channel through small and dissolved molecule across the plasma membrane. Let's see, here we have more, this kind of small molecule, right? So here is high concentration. So down the concentration gradient, you move through this channel protein and come into the cell. Usually, this channel protein has specific inner characteristic and charge allows specific ion to pass through them. It means that not everything can pass through channel protein. Only specific molecule with specific charge or ion that can pass through channel protein. Then carrier protein also, it has specific site bind only with the molecule of specific substances. Example, like only glucose can bind to the carrier protein. So glucose will bind to this, the active site, and then after that, it will be removed out. As easy as that. Any question? All right, next. So this is a figure of facilitated diffusion of glucose molecule. Let's look at the first step. We have a lot of glucose in outside of the cell, and then we have a carrier protein. So glucose molecule will move towards the specific carrier protein for glucose molecule. So each carrier protein, they only carry specific types of molecule. Like this is for transport glucose. It's a glucose carrier protein. It will transport only glucose. So glucose will bind to a specific side of carrier protein. It will bind that first. And then carrier protein will change the shape. Just now the shape is like a V shape, right? Now it's a in like an inverse V shape and then it will allow the glucose molecule to pass through the carrier protein and into the cell. No energy involved is a passive transport. This process is called facilitated diffusion. Then carrier protein will return to original shape and ready to transport another glucose molecule. <laughs>